Hello everyone, this is Gorax. Today I'll show you the new event happening in Panila Saga called New Tides. The event is split into a couple parts. First, we'll start with Bingo Feast, which requires you to finish a couple missions, similar to all the bingo events. Then you receive a rewards. Uh, if you accomplish all of them, you receive a grand reward. Okay, so let's see what rewards we will get if we finish all these missions. So, it's very easy to finish all of them as a free-to-play player, maybe except for the 80 summons, but this is the reason why you should always keep your summons and only use them when there's an event, especially if you are a free-to-play player, because it's really hard to get them. But we were pretty much spoiled when it comes to the scroll, so even though it seems 80 is quite high, it's still pretty easy to get it at this point. Right, so if we finish task 1, 2, 3, we will get... 100 butterfly weed, which is a currency used in the shop, which I'll explain later. 300 elven da stardust, which is quite useful. Then we also get another weed plus uh, two blue, which is SR uh, units. And uh, then we get 100 uh, elemental megastone, useful when it comes to upgrading your uh, hero. There's one more here, which I already unlocked, so I don't know, I don't remember what that was. 300,000 bone badge, and also uh, 30 golden hero card shards, which we can, if we get to 60, we can um, summon a random um, SSR unit. And the grand prize of 2,500 diamonds. So it's definitely worth doing these quests. And as I said before, it's all of them are really easy to do as free-to-play player. Next part of the event is Samsara Realm, where you fight uh, bosses. And I'm not sure if you guys played other games, but it's very similar. You pick up the debuffs or the buffs, and each of them gives you points. Uh, called buff points and the higher you got the more points you got and you got challenge missions happening every day so make sure you get the, the most of it they're quite easy if you're above 100,000 power um, on top of that you got daily reward depending on what level you get so make sure you get at least 7 20 free 25 points per level that's there are three levels because you want to maximize the butterfly weed reward as uh, this is the currency used for the event, and I'm going to move to the shop just shortly. And at three levels, as I said, this is what I've done 24, 28, or 6, and then 30. Okay, it's quite easily and easy, and you can use the borrowed heroes from your friends and in every fight, so make sure you utilize that as well. Moving forward, there's a Grand Ceremony Shop, okay, and this is where you turn in your Butterfly Wheat for rewards. I'm gonna explain to you what I believe, and uh, as well as another member of Discord. Credit to Phoenix for creating it. As you can see here, he suggests that the first item you purchase will be the box where you can pick an Ultra Rare unit and i totally agree with it it's very hard to get these units and this is your opportunity but to get them you need 1500 butterfly weeds and there are three ways to get it bingo feast which i mentioned samsara realm which i mentioned and starman pact where you pick one of the rewards that are available every day and i would suggest picking up the butterfly widow because all of these rewards are rather medicore they're not good compared to what you can get once you get all the butterfly weeds and i forgot to actually show you the moon pack so as you can see here every day you pick up a weed you should pick up the weed okay it's the best of these rewards and definitely the, the one that is worth the most now if you pick up the box that leaves you with 700 weeds available so the next suggestion is to pick up Diamonds, you can get 2,000 diamonds for 200 weeds, leaving you with 500 extra to spend, which 100 will be consumed by the Stardust, which is a really important reset, so you get 1,000 for 100, really worth it, leaving you with 400. Another 100 is spent on the mana stone required to upgrade your protagonist, 
So that's another 100. And then we got 184. Uh, this is a resource used for increasing potential of units. Some of you may have not actually uh, been able to uh, get to that point yet, but it's a really rare resource. And I forgot to mention, you can also get um, shards for the SSI units for 150. So yeah, all of that adds up and you can choose what you want. Obviously, if you want any other items, you can, but these are the ones that are worth uh, the most. And I totally agree with that list. Now, the last part of the event is for the spenders. There's a daily recharge, which I quite like because uh, I just buy cheapest packs and get all these rewards. And you can get another uh, ultra rare unit of your choice once you spend enough for fame uh, 2080, which I believe is like uh, 25 or 30 dollars, which is quite cool if you're a spender. Uh, because you get all these freebies just spent every day, minimum value, even a $1. But that's for the spenders. If you're not a spender, don't worry about it too much. Okay, guys, I'm all, all together, I believe this event is a really good event for free-to-play players. Uh, there are, there's lots of free stuff that we'll get no matter how much we spend. Okay, guys, this is it for today's video. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to the channel as this will help me. And stay safe. Thank you for watching. Bye.